I used to have this fish. His name was Oscar. And this fish grew to this big. One day, my coach, Marie Gomer, said to me, how big does the goldfish get in its current environment? You know, the cool thing about Oscar was he was in a regular 10-gallon tank. And when we put him in that tank, he grew a little bit. And then we got a bigger tank. And then he grew even bigger. And then eventually, we said, let's get a giant goldfish tank. This thing had to be, you know, I think like 75 gallons. It was huge, huge. Uh, we put him in this tank and he literally grew to be that big. A fish grew to be this big. It was insane. So I'm asking you this question. How big will you grow in your current environment? I want all my friends to come with me. I want all the people I love to be successful just like I aim to be successful. I want everything and everyone around me to grow and change and elevate the same way I see in my heart. But what we all must remember is that everyone's heart is not the same person's heart. Everyone's mission, everyone's goals, everyone's plans for the future are not yours. So don't hold back because the environment around you is telling you you're only big enough to get this big. You're only good enough to get this big. You shouldn't get any bigger than this. Ask yourself if you, better question, if Oscar had the choice, how big would his tank have been? That's the question I want you to ask yourself because ultimately you do have the choice. In fact, you're the only choice. You make every single decision that will define how big you get, how great you become, your excellence, your legacy, and everything else. The things around you are only around you. They are not you. So I'm charging you yet again with the task of asking yourself, how big's your tank? How big is the tank that you know you deserve? Live in that tank. Live in the tank you know you deserve so that you can be the person you were always meant to be. That's your task. That's your challenge. Let's get it.